Hello everyone, and welcome back to the lab. In this video, I'll be reducing copper oxide to copper metal using hydrogen gas. This method works on a variety of metal oxides, and I will show a more interesting example in a future video. First, I'll show you my apparatus. It starts with a 250 milliliter flask with aluminum and water. Above it is an addition funnel with sodium hydroxide solution. This leads to a calcium chloride drying tube. After that, tubing leads to a fused quartz tube that has some copper oxide powder in the middle. The tube vents to the atmosphere. I also had a Bunsen burner below the tube. To start the experiment, I started adding sodium hydroxide solution to the flask. It took a little messing around, but eventually I got hydrogen to be produced at a pretty constant rate. To test that hydrogen was actually coming out, I put a test tube over the output and lit it. I let a few liters of hydrogen pass through the apparatus before lighting it on the output. I then lit my Bunsen burner and started heating the copper oxide with it. The hydrogen reduces it to copper metal, and is oxidized into water. You can see the water collecting in the tube farther on. I'm not sure exactly how long you need to heat it, but I did this for about two minutes and that seemed okay. After turning off my Bunsen burner, I let the copper cool under a stream of hydrogen. Finally, I washed the powder with 6 molar hydrochloric acid. This dissolves any leftover copper oxide and leaves only copper metal.